Thank you for your interest in the Michigan Dental Association's peer review process. This tutorial will discuss what happens when multiple cases, three and five years, are brought against a member dentist. It's important to remember the goals of the MDA's peer review system. Peer review is a member benefit that provides a confidential forum where complaints regarding dental treatment can be heard without resorting to the legal system, helps to identify potential problems within an MDA member's practice of dentistry, and gives assurance to the public that the MDA has a process in place that can monitor the quality of treatment rendered by its members. After a peer review case is completed, either with mediation or review and final decision, the closed case file is stored in the MDA's database. So what happens when a member dentist is repeatedly brought in front of the peer review committee? If a member dentist has had three cases either mediated or found against him or her in a five-year period, the cases are reviewed by the state-level peer review committee. Here, the committee evaluates whether each of the cases involves quality or appropriateness of care issues. If the committee determines that the cases do not involve clinical treatment issues and do not breach the standard of care, no further action is taken. But if there is a question about the treatment rendered by this practitioner where it is unclear whether the causes of the patient's dissatisfaction are directly related to the clinical treatment, the doctor may be invited to come before the State Review Committee for an informal meeting where he or she would be able to explain the circumstances behind each of the cases. If the State Committee determines that the practitioner has not breached the standard of care, the process ends. If, during the evaluation of the cases or through this informal meeting, there appears to be issues of quality and appropriateness of care, the member dentist is brought to a formal hearing that will determine officially if the standard of care was breached in the three cases. If it has, the committee decides what type of disciplinary action will be taken by the MDA. Historically, even with the numbers of cases that the MDA sees, very few practitioners rise to the level of a formal hearing. Nonetheless, it is a possibility, and disciplinary actions range from a letter of censure to expulsion from membership. The MDA is legally required to report actions involving suspension of membership and expulsion from membership to the Michigan Board of Dentistry as well as the National Practitioner Data Bank. Thank you again for your interest in the Michigan Dental Association's peer review process. If you have any questions, you may contact the MDA at peerreview at michigandental.org or 800-589-2632.